Jill here. Welcome to another wig chat. Today we are going to be looking at two different awesome affordable Tony Bratton wigs. Um, I This is my very first one I have here on my head and I already did a little chat about this. This is Trendsetter in light blonde in the Tony Bratton line as well. And I had stumbled across this line. Um, a little QVC video came up on my sidebar as I was looking at different, um, you know, wigs like we do. And I clicked on that and just continued to watch and was really, really impressed at how cute it looked. So I ordered one. I order my Tony Bratton wigs from wigsbypattiespearls.com and it's patties as in P-A-T-T-I-S, not I-E-S, I've made that mistake before. I will put that link down below in the comment box and there will be a link coming that will just pop you right to the wig that I'm talking about. Uh, and so when I do get that link, I will stick it down there. In the meantime, I'm going to put their website on there with the link directly to whatever wig I'm talking about. If you could please let them know that you were sent there by Jillian Beauty Therapy, I would be really grateful and appreciative. So not all online wig companies carry the Tony Bratton line, but Wigs by Patty's Pearls does. And uh, that's where I ordered this one and where I ordered the following that I'm gonna be showing you today. Okay, so just to recap, this is Trendsetter. This is a Tony Bratton wig, and I ordered this 30% off. Uh, as a matter of fact, the recording of this video, I hate to do this because things change all the time from day to day, but right now I do know that Wigs by Patty's Pearls does have a 30% off sale right now site-wide. So if it's still going by the time I get this aired, and, and I don't know, um, now's the time because this is regularly $109, but with 30% off, I wanna say it was about $76 is what I paid for this. Crazy. Anyway, I'm just gonna give you a quick spin right off uh, just to show you this one really quick. It's not about this one, but this was my first one and it made me really want to try some other styles. I'm very impressed. I just am in love with this. You guys, since I um, got this wig, I've worn it every single day. This color, I'm in love with it. I, I absolutely, I, I love it. This here is my own little bits of hair that that I pulled out, and I pulled out, I pulled it out way kind of up here, just the just the little tiniest bits. Uh, that way, if it kind of brushes back, which this side tends to kind of want to do that, then it looks pretty good. And uh, I just have been thrilled with this wig, you guys. Thrilled. So, without further ado, let me let you know. Let me move this stuff out of the way here. Okay, so I've got two more to show you. So let's get to getting on this. Again, I ordered both of these through Wigs by Patty's because Pearls. All of her wigs come in average and uh, what she calls plus size or large. So that is almost unheard of to release your styles automatically and to have those options. And I really think that if you, you know, there is the Velcro straps in the back. So if you have more of an average petite head, you have up to a half inch on each side to gather that up. So I feel like she covers the bases really well, other than, you know, having a true petite size. But I want to say you, you just will have to see. You'll have to see if you truly are a petite across the board, see um, what you think about the average and if you can adjust it and make that work because again 30% off $76 you know plus tax 
and I think Wigs by Patty's Pearls offers free shipping. So it's really amazing. And I am thrilled to be able to be excited about an affordable line. Um, you know, I'm always looking too. So I, I so far am, am quite tickled. Okay, so this is the one we're gonna look at first, you guys. This is called, this is the Classic Bob style. This, and, and by the way, these are all heat friendly. You can apply a little bit of heat. Now, I am, am quite conservative with that. I wanna say between 260 to 80 degrees top for heat setting and you have to cool set them. So just putting an iron to them and just taking it out isn't gonna do it. You have to either pin it up there or hold your curl. It has to cool set in order to hold that curl. And remember that once you've redone that and once you've restyled with heat and it's cool set, that's the way it's gonna be. After you wash it, it's gonna go back there. So if you really love kind of the original thing, in a way, if you decide to change that, you've changed that memory. So just, just be aware of that. Anyway, this is still in the light blonde because I love this color. Now, I do have one coming that is gonna be in the brown blonde because I thought that looked really pretty. So we will be taking a look at brown blonde here on this channel, but it's not here yet. So, so this is classic Bob. I thought it just looked classic. Let's take a look at the cap here before you get too excited because it's a little bit different than Trendsetter. Trendsetter had kind of more of a traditional closed cap, some permatease up here. Uh, however, it is not that really nesty thick permatease at all. It's very nicely done. Very, uh, it's, it's not super warm up there, but this cap's a little different. So let's take a look at this. So look at, we have machine wefted all around a lot of stretch and the top here is wefted. So you're gonna get some really nice sort of uh, ventilation here right at the top. Then back here, you're gonna have some permatease which is gonna give you some nice lift there in the crown which is something that I love. I think it's really becoming on us all to have a little lift here. So there is some permatease back here and again, you guys, this is not a lace front. However, this whole section is very, very soft, soft material. Like, uh, not a velvet, but I don't know. It is very, very soft. Same as Trendsetter, not an extended nape. We have the Velcro pull tabs here. And yet, this is very soft material. Ear tabs, ear tabs, nothing on there at all. There's not any velvet, there's not anything really soft here on the ear tabs, there is a stay. Um, this particular style is a little less of a firm stay as Trendsetter. I feel like this one's pretty good. I feel like this is not for some reason quite as strong as this one, but um, so yeah, so this, this appears is, is constructed a little differently than the trendsetter that we looked at last week. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and get this on. Okay, <laughs> let's move this back and make sure we're straight. Okay, so very soft fibers, um, really soft fibers actually. Feels good on the neck. Okay, so I want to just kind of get these fibers off the cap a little bit. Definitely have very wispy, very well done wispy bangs they're not heavy which is a huge no-no for me so i i kind of am digging that my gosh you guys this color i am all about this color right now i'm kind of obsessed with this color so before i really kind of get a little bit excited and carried away here let me do a once around <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to change the battery on my camera, so I will be right back. Okay, so, I don't know, I think this is pretty cute, actually. Very unusual for me to be into a full-on bang. Um, I, you know, you probably could lift this kind of up and away with some product. Um, if, if you really just could not handle that right straight across, I'm thinking you probably could do that. It's a little bit of, maybe you might have to use even a little bit of steam to do that. I'm not sure. But this color is really quite gorgeous. Really, really. Now, me being kind of the tucker that I am, I probably would have to, at the very least, tuck one side and probably even the other side. One thing that I have noticed on me is the air tabs do come a little lower than what I would consider normal on me. So um, when I put my glasses on, they do have to kind of ride underneath the tab the tabs here so I've looked really close to see if you can see the tabs kind of going like that and throwing things off and so far I, I have not um, seen it where it, anything that looks bad because I do have to slide them underneath the ear tabs here um, so they do on me again just this is my measurements and I'll put them down in the description box that they do tend to come down a little lower than what I would say is normal for me um, but gosh, I don't know. This is pretty cute. So anyway, you can part these kind of in different places. Uh, we're not, you know, too concerned about that. Again, there is that little bit of permatease back here, but it's, it's really not much at all. I can feel it right in here. It's not much at all. It's definitely there, but it's not something that I think will really put you off. But I guess it depends on what your tolerance is with permatease. My Lord, I think this is actually really cute. <laughs> so um, I'm going to go ahead and do a little hairspray. Just kind of give me a little something. So far these wigs have been easy. Easy wear. Um, just, wow. Not a lot of fussing. You just kind of put it on. But definitely, you know, play with it. Make it you. Give it a little whatever you need to feel really comfortable in it. And uh, yeah, just kind of make it, make it yours. Because really, the little zhuzhing that you do when you get this wig on your head is gonna make it more realistic. It, it is gonna just really kind of put it over the top and yeah. Really cute, oh my gosh, you guys. I really am surprised I like the bang situation on this. Really nice where it falls here. Again, that probably will depend on your measurement. Anyway, guys, I think this is really kind of another winner. I think it's very cute. Um, I think with just a little bit of uh, hair product it will control the style a little for you and keep it nice and controlled through the day and so um but really cute really really cute and if you don't like to tuck it this is what it would look like not tucked if you would just like to take advantage of just the general shape of this Very cute. It is really, really cute. I have to say that, you know, I am a, a real big, strong proponent of having a wig that's shaped really nicely. And 
both the trendsetter and this one, uh, the cut is really nice. Um, very nicely done. This is so cute. <laughs> this is really cute. Yeah. And the bangs are kind of short, which is, I'm really uh, perplexed as to why I'm okay with that. I think because they're very thin and, um, I don't know, I barely feel them. Honestly, I barely, barely feel them on my forehead. They're wisped out really nicely and quite layered through here. So maybe that's why I'm not too bothered by them at all, actually. And they're out of my eyes. So uh, that's nice. But, you know, if you prefer your hair on this side, now I did put hairspray in it already, so it's kind of a little bit going. I'm kind of used to it over there now, and you're having me change it up. But you very easily can switch this up to, to kind of go in this other direction. As well. However, I am very much a left side parter, so I probably would kind of keep it over here. You can even do the middle, more of a middle part if, you're, if you'd like to do that. Okay, well, I want to say this is a winner for me. I really like it. Again, guys, I paid for this with my own money. Um, this was sort of a, a self-discovery for me, finding this line, and I'm a little obsessed with it at the moment. <laughs> and this is just adorable. Really, really cute. Easy wear. This is a throw it on your head, put some hairspray in it, play with it a little bit, decide, you know, kind of where you like it. Um, very nice, nicely styled and shaped. This is gonna be an easy one, I think, to look cute. Just like the trend setter. All right, guys, let's take a look at this one now. This, um, so this is the Classic Bob Light Blonde. Adorable. I feel kind of, I don't know, I feel cute in this one, just cute, you know? Um, it's a nice length. It's not too, too short, you know, and, and yet it has a good amount of, of body through here. So I still feel quite secure. I've got a nice secure feeling here on the nape. I've got a good amount of length here on the side. So yeah, it's not too short for me. However, I am getting more and more intrigued with the shorter, shorter pixies. All right, so this next one is called Impressive, still in the light blonde, and of course, these are heat-friendly fibers. So let's get Impressive on. So the, uh, the cap is the same exact, hold on, I don't think the same exact cap as the uh, one I just showed you. Oh, wow, I think this is gonna be really cute too. What is happening? What is happening? Seriously, this is crazy. Okay, so let me just kinda make sure this is back where it needs to be. Wow. This one is a little bit almost I don't know, a shorter version of maybe Trendsetter. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, I really like this. Oh, I love the flippy flips. I do, I really love that. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. straight out of the box, you guys. Have done nothing to this. This is straight out of the box. And I feel like I could walk out the door right now and feel pretty dang good. This is adorable. Again, 
Oh my gosh, this is in uh, the light blonde. Again, I am in love with this color, honestly. Very in love with this color. Let's do a spin here. So stinking cute. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh. Okay. Might have a little tiny bit of box hair back here. Um, hopefully a little hairspray will tame that, but this is adorable. So, you know, again, the ear tabs, uh, same as the last one I just showed you, the classic Bob, the stays are a little weak. Um, and they run about down to here. So again, to put my glasses on, I would have to run it directly under that ear tab or directly over the top. Uh, my glasses do have an automatic thing where they will do that, but I don't like that. So I would have to run them under, under the tab. And they don't pop up noticeably at all. I mean, they are sort of popped up a little right here, but I don't think you can notice that. Um, yeah, but oh my gosh. So I, you know, again, I could either tuck the whole thing or leave a tiny little bit out, which is probably what I'm leaning toward. Just leaving a little tiny bit out, kind of a blend of the wig hair and my hair. And, uh, Wow, this is adorable. Then you're done. I, I mean, I haven't even really put any hairspray in this. I would put hairspray in it if I was going out just to, you know, they've got the little kind of sort of flyaways that going on there. But wow, this is so cute. This is really cute. Very soft fibers, once again, the color's beautiful. Again, it has the same top uh, as that one, whereas the, you have the wefts all through here and some permatease sort of back in the crown area. Uh, so this should be a really nice, stretchy, cool one, I would think. It might be a wonderful choice for this, the, the coming warmer months that we're gonna be facing before we know it. Although here on Friday, we're supposed to get snow. And I am so ready so. for spring. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. I am smitten with Tony Bratton wigs. I, I really am. I think the price point is exceptional. These are basic caps. So far, they are quite comfortable. Um, I do get the traditional itching as I do, kind of right in here. Anyway, okay, well, yeah, this is cute. This is really cute. And again, if you do not like to tuck, you can bring these forward and have it kick out right here. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's just so, it is really cute. I, I am quite impressed with the shapes of these wigs. I think her designers, uh, really cute. She's got some great ideas and they carry them out, I think, really well. So cute. I am so thrilled. I seriously am very excited about these. They make me so excited to get up in the morning and get my makeup on and get ready because I am loving these so, so much. Anyway, okay. I know, I, I just had to show both of them to you. I was gonna break them up and just do it in the next one next week, but decided that, um, nah, I'm just gonna do both of them in one wig chat today, so. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.